All right, let's let's take a look at the uh, the strategy. So tomorrow, I'm spending about uh, uh, the charts are going to be down from uh, uh, noon to around one o'clock. Um, I have an outside programmer. We're doing finishing touches on the strategy you guys are going to be getting, and then uh, I'm going to send this over to Gerald. Let's go over this a little bit. So uh, this is what uh, members are going to get. We'll sit. We'll uh, have Gerald wrap this up for you guys and put it on the download page. Um, so let's take a look at a breakout strategy that you guys are going to be getting. Um, I traded the London Open <clears throat> this morning. Uh, I'll put I'll put it in the room right here on the breakout. I'm liking this London Open on the Nasdaq. From three to four, you get a nice surge on the Nasdaq. I'm going to post it in the room right now. Uh, that was this morning's breakout. Uh, let's see. Let me post it real quick. There we go. Uh, the breakout strategy. Um, if you look uh, on the Nasdaq, I'll, I'll push. I'll put it up so others can see it here real quick. I just posted in the room. So this is my breakout this morning that happened. Um, I'm seeing a nice surge. So uh, what you can do? Um, you, th there's actually a time zone. A time zone that you can put to trade these different markets. Um, I love the London opening. The London opening, um, I'm seeing a big surge in the NASDAQ futures. So I started playing it. I played it this morning uh, on the breakout strategy. So what the breakout strategy does, uh, in the room you see these dots that come up. Uh, these dots are these dashed lines. Uh, so when it broke out, it got long, uh, the market. Um, it kept getting long in the market um, as far as the move up. Uh, as far as when it uh, broke out of this um, of this swing level, so uh, you're going you can you can dictate when you want to get in by putting the time zone that you want to trade. Uh, what you're going to find when you when you test this and you do strategy analyzer and all this stuff, you're going to find certain times during the day are 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 nice uh, times to be looking at the markets. Like the ES has a nice surge from you know that uh, in the afternoon around that two o'clock uh, when uh, that that two to two uh, two to three uh, level you see a nice surge in the market um, that uh, ten to ten thirty um, eight thirty to nine you're seeing a nice little surge in the market so you know you 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 can put what times you want to trade so what I did I put it to trade. This morning from three to four on the Nasdaq future specifically uh, to get the London opening this morning as far as that goes uh, I'm going to show you how to do that so the ES you can see the breakout level here this morning is at uh, 483750 so you see my my dots over here that I project in the room those are my breakout dots so uh, you can see over here on the strategy is projecting the same thing you know we have um, where is it at? There it is. You can see 37 uh, quarter 50 right there, 37 quarter 50 right here. So uh, yesterday, you notice we had a breakout in the market, a nice surge in the market right here. <clears throat> Big breakout on the S&P. For you traders who's watching the room, we had a nice slingshot that was confirmed by a stronger market. Remember, when these arrows come up, we can look at... Uh, Confirming that arrow by getting in with the uh, with the cross into a stronger market. So that's a big surge in the S and P. 08 started it and it ran uh, quite hard. <clears throat> the breakout strategy caught it also. Um, you notice the surge came right there. So that's the breakout level that it came in. It came in right at that. Uh, uh, what was it right here at 12 and three quarters 12 and a half right there is the my level so it broke out so you can use a strategy for these breakout levels um, so when you get this on your own computer I'm gonna uh, we're gonna go over conference calls how you can do this but you can see when it broke out here we had the big surge in the market for you guys watching this in the room and then we had a big follow-through and then we had a breakout level that uh, that followed through with us also. So we'll go over this in the following conference calls. Um, 
it's a search, uh, yeah, what these momentum dots do, so let's just make this larger. So let, let's just take a look at, 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 uh, at, this, at the two strategies. We have two strategies, I went over this yesterday. We have one called a retracement strategy, and that's where all my um, different signals, and I'll show you in a second, That's where we're trying to, when these arrows come up, whoops, I lost my, where'd it go? There we go. When these arrows fire up, um, this, the strategy you're going to get on your own computer, you're going to have an audible alert that fires on your computer. I have a beep. I have to make a, a large beep sound. So, again, a large beep. This is a slingshot. This is a slingshot. These came up yesterday in the room live, right at this price bar. So I, I'm going to have it set where the workspace is. These arrows will fire off for you. What you can do when the arrows fire off, you can confirm the entry by looking. These workspaces will be set up like this with the oscillator. If once it crosses over, you're in a stronger market. There's your entry, confirmation, entry, confirmation, entry, and confirmation on the arrows. What these arrows are doing is they're looking in the background on these the first wave, the slingshot, the Momo, and the failure trade and the trap trade. So and then I have an alert set up for that so you guys can be alerted on your computers when these arrows fire up by a nice little loud beep and I'll let you know that those are firing off. So that's the first, that's called retracement strategies. You got those indicators, I mean, those strategies will fire off automatically. The trap failure, Momo slingshot in the first wave. That's why we don't need that large oscillator down there no more. It automatically calculates everything for you. We don't need those two lines on there no more. Everything's built into the code. So once those fire off, you can confirm it with that oscillator below that you're in a stronger market. You can see he had some nice big trades on the ES yesterday. This works on all markets like that. So those are our retracement strategies. The second strategy we have is called the momentum strategy. And this is stronger, weaker markets. These are momentum zone breakouts. Now, what momentum zone breakouts are exactly this that I traded on the on the London Open this morning is that you get levels where levels have are, are with trend. So, if let's say the market's moving hard and then the market pauses, once you get a pause, it finds that breakout level to trade that breakout, right? So in the room, if you visually want to see it, that's what these dots are right here. That's what these green dots are. So if we look on the room yesterday, the big breakout, these green dots come with the green zone trend, and they won't go against it because I have a zone filter in uh, with it. So once you close out of this level, you have a breakout. Once you close out this level, you have a breakout. Now, I, I'm doing, the strategy does three closes, so because what happens, I don't want you to get caught up on an M top or W bottom, and I appreciate Phil pointing this out uh, last week. If you look where these come up, these zones, you don't want to get caught up in ATR trend, so you don't want to get a close here, a close candle here, and then a close candle here, and then and then come back and then shoot straight back down. So what I like to do, the strategy will automatically do this for you because it's taking three closes above, not two closes. So the easiest thing for you to do is you can do the same thing. When these dots appear, it, you're looking for a three close, not really a two candle close because I, I don't want you to get caught up in an M top or W bottom in case this tries to M top or W bottom. So uh, the strategy, like I said, what it'll do is it will actually look for three candle close, um, and then this is what it did yesterday. This is the breakout, 
and this is a strategy breaking out that it caught this, the, the breakout. So it will actually look for a three candle close. Uh, but for you manually looking in the room, if you want to visually see it in the room, just make sure I would put it, I would make sure that on that swing high, wherever these print, make sure the swing high, you get a close above either, there's two ways you can do it. You can do a three candle close above these dots, right? Or just a close above that swing high or swing low where those dots print. It's totally up to you guys how you want to do that. But you can see the follow through you get. We had some big follow through breakouts yesterday. Um, what uh, th these breakouts look like, it's, uh, I was trying to teach this to a trader uh, the other day. It's like a cup and handle formation. That's why they work so well. Here is your handle. And the cup and handle formations are some of the most accurate setups you can get on any type of market if you know anything about it. But that is your cup and handle. Cup and handles are great for continuation breakouts. So that is your cup and handle formation. That's what really the breakouts uh, are based upon. If you look at that, it looks like a little cup. The best trade you're going to see is this. What you'll notice is on these breakouts, it happens on the NASDAQ quite a bit because you have a lot of these during the day. You'll, you'll come up and you'll test a high and you'll come down a few bars and you'll come out and you'll break through. It'll be a mini cup. Now, th this is a pretty substantial large cup and handle because the, big, the breakout was pretty robust. I mean, it took off like crazy yesterday. I mean, look, look at that breakout. That was a nice breakout of a 13 and a half fill plus or minus a couple ticks to 28. So you had a 15 point surge on that breakout. Uh, but um, I like the ones that go like this. And, and here's what, how I'm going to show you guys. I, I like when it comes up, tests a high, and it's a mini cup and handle. You'll see, you'll see these a lot where you'll come down, and you'll come down for only a few bars, like a few bars. and then you'll break. And those are robust. Those are called mini cup and handles. So if you see that, that is really, so when you see these setups, look for those mini pauses for continuations. They're really, really, really neat trades. Um, you know, you'll see consolidation too, like here's a NASDAQ this morning that, that I caught here this morning. You'll see it hit its head, hit its head, and then just exploded outside of it. Now, there's a surge. That's why this was a late fill. Here's a three candle close above it. But the surge, you know, you'll get some slippage on the NASDAQ. And then the surge uh, turned out to be a nice little setup. Uh, the same way on when you're doing the ES trades or any other trades, if you look, they're clear to see. They're very easy to see. So this morning, it's not, it hasn't run a trade yet. So yesterday, you know, right there's my breakout, big breakout move. You can see where they're at. They're very simple to see, and they're the same as the room. So if you look at the room this morning, there's my breakout dots here this morning, right here. You can see the breakout level with CPI coming out is 37.5, and, and here's my breakout level of strategy we'll, we'll look to get in today also. So we're going to finish this up tomorrow with my, uh, I got outside programmer uh, crossing all my T's, making sure, and dotting my I's, making sure that uh, we're good to go on both these strategies indicators. And we're going to wrap this thing, get it out to you, and start our conference calls. Okay, so uh, um, all your workspaces will be set up. No need to email Gerald. Um, he's going to make sure this thing is wrapped up nice and tight for you guys. Um, and he's going to send it to the members download page. And then we're going to be good to go.